Hello everybody, welcome back to my Let's Play of The Uncertain. I am Toby Chimp, this fine fellow right here, a fine robot, this is RT. And we are at The Core, which is a bar. I don't know why there's bars still in the world that's run by robots, it seems unnecessary. But, we're here for a reason. Ooh, I can use my key straight away maybe. He's going to say something, isn't he? I want to talk, but he's going to say something over me. Do it, RT. Maybe the key that I found in the informant's apartment would fit here. Maybe. Oh no, he's not going to be in there dead, is he? Please. We're looking for F2, our informant. He wasn't at his apartment. We have to assume that he's still alive, maybe. Oh, wow. Secret. That looks like a puzzle. <laughs> that looks like a puzzle on there, doesn't it? Oh, God. Go on, RT. Explain it. An armored door. Why is it inside the wardrobe? It appears that there is something important behind it. I must crack the code to open it. Oh, no. I'm so bad at this kind of stuff. But I, maybe I can fluke it. Enter audio password, okay. Audio password. Um, can I just like spell something out? What can I spell out here? Uh, let's try... F f uh, f oh god, I don't know. I don't know what I can spell out of this. F... E... B... E? Feeb? Damn it. Could have been Feeb. Okay, we've got to find our clue. So yeah, in the last episode we went to F2, our police informant's apartment, because he was supposed to give us a data disc and he didn't show up. Uh, he wasn't there though. An analog device for visual self-diagnostics. Very simple and very effective. That is a mirror, my friend RT. That is a mirror. Yeah, our informant wasn't there. He wasn't in a pile of rubble though, as I expected, which is good. So we have to assume that he's still alive. Um, but an email on his computer led us here to this bar, and now I guess trying to find him. Presumably he's behind that door, perhaps, that we've just found. Play the piano! Beautiful. That's it. That's a real masterpiece right there, I'd see. What about the drums? Are you more of a, a drummer? Why would a group of humans play these individual instruments together? I question this odd behavior when a single person or machine can synthesize music so effortlessly. Because it's more fun to play things together, RT. God damn it, why do you like shit on everything that's human? Why? I know you don't understand this too much, but come on. Be a bit more open-minded, please. Put on some tunes, can we? Ah, oh, please. Music. Do it. Give us the best music ever. Stuff that's not copywritten, hopefully. Uh-oh. What have I done? Alright. We've got some smooth jazz going on. Perhaps you can hear it. Maybe you can't. Maybe it's best that you can't hear it. <laughs> what about a table or beer? What, what are you looking at here, IT? Why is this table reserved? There's plenty of seating space. Dude, come on, man. That's obviously from a long time ago, perhaps. Play... Ah. Oh. I think RT could be like, I think any robot could be the best player ever at pool or snooker. Because they can just like lock in the trajectory of everything. Surely. Do it. Do it. Oh, this is going to be great. Ronnie O'Sullivan right here. Ronnie O. <gasps> oh, we're going to be Ronnie O. Oh! Whoa, whoa. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Come on. Oh, shit's in hell. Can we do that again, please? I can see an achievement for that. We're gonna get it. Evidently, my gyroscope needs calibrating. Don't doubt your freaking gyroscope. Evidently, my gyroscope needs calibrating. Oh, I had one shot. One opportunity to seize everything I ever wanted. In one moment there. I didn't capture it. I let it slip. Well, is, is there anything behind this, perhaps? Music was most likely a significant part of human life. The very existence of this place proves it. So we're still looking for an audio cue. I'm not really sure where to go to. What is this? Tell me, RT, what are we looking at? No, oh, apparently it's important. Nope, that is liquor. Do it. Oh, don't make a mess, RT. It was like this when I found it. Oh, this guy, what a scumbag. What an absolute scumbag. I saw it. All my three viewers, they saw it, RT. 
You're not getting away with it. Like this when I. Sp what a jerk. Okay, I need some some help here. I'm just to find out what to put in here. Maybe it's something to do with this. Hold on. Uh, wait, Cosby B. Co wait, Bill Cosby. Awkward. Charlie Sheen. Kanye West. Uh, what's his name? Oh God. I can't think of the Wilson name. That's embarrassing. Vladimir Putin. All played, presumably. I don't know, pool or darts? There's no dart board. Who? What's the Wilson? Is it Woody Wilson? Jeez, Bill Cosby. Um, musical cue. I can't find it. I'll be right back, guys. So, this might be completely crazy and completely irrelevant, but I've changed the song on the jukebox, and now it's just looping over these four notes, and I believe the code that we need for the door is also four notes. Unfortunately, I am let's say musically impaired and I cannot tell what these notes are just from listening to it so I'm still kind of stuck. I just thought I'd give you a little update on how I'm doing here here's the update still stuck but perhaps getting closer oh I'm a genius I just kind of matched it to the to the notes on the keypad stairs to the basement why would anybody hide stairs inside a wardrobe Jeez, that looks spooky. Okay, that music is really annoying now it's looping. Thank God. I'm also the smartest man that's ever lived. Just saying. Just kidding, I'm not really dumb. Alright, we've got a little bed sit down here. It is a weird place. It does not look abandoned to me. Someone was here recently. Were they humans? Looks like it, man. It looks like it. Perhaps kids as well. What have you got to say about this chalk, chalk drawings, RT? Let me guess, you don't understand it. Why would they draw on the floor where they could just draw on their tablets? Or in their mind or something? No? Nothing to say about it? Nothing to say about it. Apparently, it could be like a family though. Interesting. Still don't really know what I'm looking for. My objective is to examine this basement so but teddy boy <laughs> teddy boy what about teddy bear fucking hell that is terrifying that is not what a bear should sound like maybe that, I mean, that's probably kind of close to what a bear sounds like in real life but not a freaking teddy bear please tell me this is open please toys maybe what's it gonna be Ooh. Oh. Nothing useful. Nothing useful. I'm sorry. Are you seeing the freaking bat with the nails in it? If we can get freaking Lucille right here. Pick it up, please. Nothing useful. There's also some tape there and like a bag of flour or something. <laughs> you could use it. Someone's been cooking. This place seems like it wasn't abandoned too long ago. Perhaps it still isn't abandoned. Maybe, maybe the family is just out somewhere having a nice day trip. Who knows? The temperature level and organic residue indicates that somebody cooked food here recently. Exactly. I estimate it was less than 24 hours ago. Yeah, there you go, RT. Now we're on the same same wavelength right now. Speaking each other's languages. Oh, they got pills. Any thoughts on these? Are you a, a fan of drugs, RT? It appears someone was sick and medical care was dispensed. I read that humans had very efficient abilities to regenerate and heal but they heavily relied on drugs to assist in this process. RT is not a fan of the drugs. Anything else of interest? I don't think so. Oh, maybe. What's this? Nothing to pick up, though. Is that them... like, running... It looks like they're running with a robot, I would say. Interesting. Can I flip it over? Nah. Or can I? Hang on, I had a cursor there. No, I can't move it. Dang! I thought I was going to be super smart there. Nothing else. Got some water to look at. Nothing too exciting now, RT, is it? Why would the humans need bottled water? There is a sink in the basement, and the plumbing here works fine. Always be prepared, man. You never know if it's going to break. How do you know the plumbing's working fine anyway? You expect? Are you a plumber? Is that your job now? 
No, I don't think it is. A food cooking station. Based on the amount of dirty dishes left behind, it appears that humans stayed here for a long time. Interesting. I can't wait to meet, you know, our first humans in this game, if there are any left. Could be, it'd be my luck that they've all died, like, a minute before I took control of RT. Let's go down here, please, if we can. Apparently, they ran out of doors. All right. Thanks for that, RT. Ah! Jesus Christ! And I moved everyone to another place. Who whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing here? Easy, easy, buddy. Uh, I'm going to tell you who I am. I'm on your side. I am RT217NP. And you? TR2-5201. Fletcher. That's Fletch. How did you find this place? F2 was supposed to bring us some important data, but we lost contact. He was probably exposed. I have been instructed to find the data. Is F2 arrested? How did they figure him out? How did you find out about this place? We don't know what happened to F2. I entered his apartment and read the message on the intercom. The message mentioned the core, and we supposed it was this bar. That means the police knows about this place as well. I suppose no one saw the message but me. I deleted it after reading. You're welcome. So we are on the same side and you help humans? How many of you are there? That is correct. There are five of us. I thought we were the only ones who know the truth. Nobody knows the whole truth. But you are not the only ones helping humans. We need to join forces. How many humans did you save? None. The humans that we were supposed to meet died in a shuttle crash during the transfer. I am sorry. We must join as soon as possible and transfer all humans into a safe place in order to avoid such accidents in the future. I agree. What should we do? F2 provided me some important information, which he apparently was going to give you as well. I need to meet your leader. Is that your aero car outside? Yes. You need to see Gregory. I can take you to our shelter. There we go. Another friend. Good old Fletch. What's up, guys? What's the happy apps? How many are in your group? Seven humans, five adults, and two children. Where are they now? They are in a shelter in the city. We move constantly to avoid detection. USS found our other two shelters, but thanks to F2, we escaped before the police arrived. Do you know anything about other groups of humans? We know that there are several isolated groups. We need to contact them. Otherwise, they will be tracked down sooner or later. I saw a police officer seizing a human in a supermarket today. Fortunately, I could interfere and save him. He should bring his group in an appointed place this evening. We have to act secretly, because there are just a few robots who know the truth, and they are all wanted by the police. We must ensure their security. It is hard to hide a group of humans and supply it with whatever is required. We cannot bring them all here, because it is easy to locate a building full of humans. RT told me that F2 turned over some data to you. Can it help us? Exactly. While working with the police archives, F2 discovered information about an abandoned underground research lab. It has been shut down since the humans left. It is a perfect shelter. We could accommodate everyone there, even the ones we have yet to find. Police would not search for the place because it is outside of the city limits. Is it safe to trust the information from the police archives? Yes, it was not of interest to the USS and has not been analyzed. F2 deleted the data after he copied it, so no one will ever know about it. That is great news. We need the coordinates and then we can start preparing the lab for humans. There are two issues. First, the exact coordinates are unknown. Because there are jamming devices in the woods, we must first track them down and disable them. Second, we do not know what is in the lab. We must check it for safety and then restore the power and water supply. I see. You did very well, RT. I think you can solve these problems and prepare the lab. I need you to do your best because human lives depend on it. Jesus Christ, that was a lot to take in. Where, literally, where to begin? Good. Where do I begin? First, search the location for jamming devices. We do not know how they look and how hard it is to disable them. There is no signal there, so you can count only on yourself. 
After you disable the jammers, we will determine the exact coordinates of the lab by its energy signature. RT, use an arrow cart to disable the jammers as soon as you can and take control of the lab. Fletcher and I will coordinate the transfer. We have 18 hours left. Charge yourself and go. The lab must be ready by this evening. Copy that. Heading out. All right, let's get charged. I got a safe first off. Maybe I'm just incredibly skeptical, but I just don't know about Fletcher. I don't know about his whole plan. It seems a little bit too convenient. Let's get all the humans in one place. I'm not so sure. I'm a little bit weary about all this plan. We'll see how it pans out. I don't really have much of a, a choice in the matter. I have to go along with it. Hope for the best, but I'm I'm a little scared for these humans, I've got to say. Ah, oh, well this looks nice, doesn't it? I haven't really seen any of the, uh, the forests or kind of the urban, sorry, not urban, the rural landscape here. Sick aero car still works, so that's good. <laughs> Where we're going, we don't need roads. See, I can do, I can do, uh, oh my god, am I driving? Ah! Oh, gee, jump, oh god, this is, oh, I wasn't ready for this. It's like freaking Star Wars! Wah! Oh my god. Okay, this was unexpected. This was unexpected, but I like it. It's a bit different. It's a good job this little kind of crevasse we found ourselves in leads exactly to where we need to go. <laughs> I mean, I guess, anyway. Oh! oh I'm not going to take any damage. I'm an excellent driver. Oh! Oh god, this is a mistake. Why don't we go on the outside? No, it is like Star Wars. Just fire the, fire the shot. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. Use the force. That's sick drifting, though. We got this absolutely nailed. I'm choosing a terrible path each time, though. <laughs> it's fine. We must almost be there, right? This looks important. Ooh, there we go. What he didn't see there was I crashed off camera. This is like Star Wars. They're going to chase me, aren't they? Oh, my God. I haven't got any weapons on this thing. It just drives. And I'm behind the wheel, so it's... Oh, my God. Okay. Um. Oh, okay, that's what the red dots mean on the map. I got it, I got it. It's kind of hard to dodge trees and dodge bullets at the same time, though. Okay. Is there a technique to this? I'm just going to keep on driving. I'm not looking at my car. I'm not looking at the, uh, the dude behind me. Look at the bottom to see where the red squares are. To save me from running into any trees. Oh, that was close. That was like Fast and Furious level. Oh, you seen this, guys? Number one, best driver. Oh, crap. Number one, best driver. I am pretty much Lewis Hamilton right now. I assume the, uh, the well, the red line sort of on my car there on the bottom, the icon was my health. Way! You can't drive. You can't drive. What a shit driver. Also, what a weak, weak, I don't want to say car, what a weak vehicle you got. I crashed like three times. I'm still in one piece. You crashed once and you blew up? Come on, get out of here. Get out of here or get onto my level, please. This looks important, this little shack. Good job I found it, RT. This drone has almost destroyed me. This must have been a very outdated model. Because if it were a modern police drone, my chances of survival against it without any weapon would be minimal. Why you gotta do this, RT? Every time we accomplish something together, yes, together, we are a team here. I, I can like commend each other on it. We can shit talk about the guy who just failed and then you come out and you bring us all down. Every time. What's your problem, man? Anyway, I'm gonna try and, uh, ooh, these noises. I'm gonna try and disable the first jamming device in the next episode. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.